organizers, wonderful organizers of, um, that helped us put this thing together. So we were 200 people and 200 on wait list. This is what happens with free events. <laughs> um, okay, the organizers are Guarti, who's not here, Bindu in the back, taking pictures. Raise your hand, Bindu. Thank you very much. Um, Giti, that's me. And Leanne over there, our leadership expert. Uh, Carrie Rosado is not here. And Oslo Billis is not here as well. And they will come later. They have different shifts. So I just want to um, go over some quick um, background information on women who cook. Basically what we do is inspiring women to excel in technology careers. Elena is our CEO, Elena first of all, and she started um, Women Who Code Organization, which is a nonprofit global organization dedicated to inspiring women to excel in technology careers. Let's learn a little bit more about us. We are 80,000 people right now. 80,000 members across the globe. And we do all kinds of trainings, technical trainings, seminars, lightning talks, hackathons, uh, leadership developments, and many more. And they're all free. We're committed to have all these events to be free. As you can see, these are all the cities that we exist in, 60 cities across 20 countries. Never mind that. <laughs> Definitely never mind that. Okay. Where did it go? All right. So why do we even need women who code? Because there will be a lot of software engineering jobs who will go unfilled. And one billion jobs are expected to go unfilled uh, through traditional avenues, which is why you will hear from some of our sponsors and the job openings they have. Um, women hold 50% of all professional occupations. But through in technology careers, a lot of women leave mid-career. 56% in technology, 39% in engineering. Due to lack of representation, um, and uh, women like to see other women in um, leadership roles. So, the impact of women who cook. 80% said that the uh, women who cook helped them to improve their um, career, advance their careers. And 97% uh, would like to refer a friend or colleague to our programs, and that just kind of increases participation. This is the new face of technology leadership. It is diverse. The quote at the bottom says one of the reasons that uh, people like to get involved. But that is not the only reason. We try to advance, elevate, build, and lead, and help women do that. The achievements that we've had, 15,000 free technical events such as this, 276,000 technology conferences, $276,000 in tickets, sales, $250,000 including school scholarships, uh, 50,000 volunteer hours, $1 million in-kind donations such as uh, donating this uh, hall, town hall by PayPal, which you should remember to fill out the in-kind donation form. <laughs> um, okay. Our partners partner with us because they want to propel women to succeed, they want to recruit and retain women, they want to inspire um, their workplace with diverse workforce and drive and create um, impact. Okay, if you sponsor Women Who Code, you're a good company because all these other companies have done it and they continue to do that. safe campus. Thank you all for showing up and many of you seem to be college age and I can see why this was of interest to you and of course I can see why it was of interest to Course Hero because they 
um, support colleges and their solution is a solution for a lot of campuses. Um, what does it mean to you? We're not going to tell you what it means. We're going to leave that to you to decide what that theme means. Um, solve the problem you care to solve for this hackathon and do some research. Here are some thoughts though. Okay, I was doing some research and I wanted to include some videos and I decided against it, but uh, through doing some research, I found out that the greatest stressor for college students is a paying back college um, loans. Is it performing academically? Is it getting a job after college? And the answer is no. Those are the top two stressors for college students. That's, that's amazing, I didn't know that. And then, um, according to research, second or third cause of death for college students is suicide. So I'm just giving you some ideas if you don't already have one. Okay? So you decide what you want to work on. 